So this is a dangerous moment in the Middle East. We will respond when we choose, where we choose, and how we choose. The United States has struck back and hit hard against Iran-linked targets. These are images of long-range B-1 bombers taking off for their mission. The attacks are the first in the much-talked-about multi-tiered response by President Joe Biden's administration to the attack last weekend by Iran-backed militants. The bombers flew from an undisclosed location in the United States to strike its target in West Asia. These bombers can carry about 17,000 kilograms worth of ammunition. According to the White House, U.S. warplanes struck more than 85% targets at seven facilities utilized by Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps and the militant groups that they sponsor. Three of them are in Iraq and four in Syria. The Pentagon says the attacks, which lasted 30 minutes, appear to be successful, triggering large secondary explosions as the bombs hit militant weaponry. The U.S. administration is doing everything it can to avoid uh, getting into a broader war with Iran. Uh, for that reason, it, it did not strike any targets inside Iran, inside the territorial, uh, the territory of Iran. Syria and Iraq joined Iran in accusing Washington of undermining the stability of the whole region. Damascus says the strikes served to inflame the conflict in West Asia in an extremely dangerous way, while Tehran termed it as another strategic mistake by the US government. Palestinian militant group Hamas condemned the overnight strikes in Iraq and Syria.